Hello everyone. I am Hardik Patel from SN Patel Engineering College, Umrak Bardoli. Our subject is Indian Constitutions. Subject code three one three triple zero seven. It is for all the branches. In this sessions. We're discussing regarding the history of the Indian constitutions. Before starting the history, we need to understand why we need the constitutions, and if we don't have any constitutions, then what are the factors that impact on us? Okay, so first we start the discussion regarding. why we need a constitution so constitutions is a set of rule set of rule this rule which is applicable for all okay so first now look at the screen in which we can see there is a set of rule set of rule so there are the rules for the game any games okay why just because of we can follow the rule and we get the final outcomes easily so there is no partiality at all when there is no partiality it means the equal fairness so here we can say that the law of game law of game here we need to define about the constitution so constitutions constitutions is a set of rule set of rule for whom for the citizen for the citizen so every citizen need to follow this law this code of conduct and rules and regulations okay just to maintain that morality and peaceful environment peaceful environment so some of the rules made by the legislative means where we make the laws like lok sabha and rajya sabha we know very well we have two houses upper house and lower house when these houses we elect the mps and mlas uh, by the ballot papers or that giving a votes after 18 years and these members that go to the parliaments and rajya sabha and they decide about decide for us for the society they will decide the new law okay so again the uh, is it not easy to pass a law it is a proper structures proper way the roots okay in which the legislative that is called law has going to pass okay in both the houses the majority will be there for the particular bill or particular particular law then and then the new will be new law will be enforced for all okay now we need a law in societies for our society can be regulated and the framework properly now take example in a home we have a specific uh, role, rules and regulations okay uh, when we kids so at that time we know have a specific time duration for the play for a lunch or uh, for a study why because it give the smooth direction for a particular time it give this particular uh, smooth the directions for our layout the time management okay so law is stand for the society it means it get the regulate and work properly they are designed to protect our property and ensure that everywhere in society behave with the community expects them to so here it is about that law which is applicable for society and this society will regulate properly regulate properly okay so it law has been work like a glue glue it means stick to the societies and without law we cannot be complete we can we cannot be complete okay so we need a proper law next in general term in general term constitutions is a supreme law of the lands it means the superior person superior one okay now take example the government and the people we have two person government and people now we look at the government the every five years the government is changed okay so government need to follow the constitutions and this constitution because of the government can 
stand and they can work for the people they can work for the people so basic two aspect the relationship between the different level of government and between the government and the citizen that's what we needed the constitutions that's why we need the constitutions if suddenly there is no constitutions at all what happened government work according with the conditions what they like dislike based on that they enforced us but right now due to the constitutions due to the constitutions government can work according with and they, we can easily satisfy what are the terms and condition as per the society's requirement okay if suddenly there is no constitution at all what happened what happened that government do whatever they like okay so if they all things and mention in the constitutions properly so that reasons the government work according with this okay now see the constitutions based on the government and based on the people okay now in a government point of view we make a three basic four pillar of the constitutions in which the three pillar right now first to make the law second interpret the law third enforce that law okay so we take one by one by one first we make the law it means any bill or any uh for any constitutional amendment that's change in a particularly law okay for the society they makes in that first legislative parts so it picks in the rajya sabha and lok sabha by the decision making of these members then after the interpret the laws the law should be in, uh, interpret properly whether whether the society uh, will be easily accept this law or it really helpful for them then after enforce means just give that law for the people and the people is always to be superior person superior person we don't know the our values now uh, from these pictures we can understand what is a value of citizen what is a value of citizen we the people we don't know the true power of all it means what is a power suppose suddenly if you uh, remove from these pictures what happen government cannot be survive government cannot be stand actually because of us because of the people the government is there government is there okay so basic uh, technical definition of the constitution a constitution is a set of fundamental principle constitution is a set of fundamental principle or established or established according with the states and other organized in govern these rules together make up that means all uh, makes the union like a constitute and what is entity is that basic the principles that written down in a single collections okay that's why we call as a written constitutions it's a legal document and it is a written constitution is a part of the uh, features of indian constitutions and written constitution we bring it from the usa we bring it from the usa the another technical term uh, another definition of the indian constitution the document contain of law and rules law and rules which determine and decide the forms of government the relationship between the citizen and the government this is called the constitutions okay so okay in this uh, ppt you can see that the relationship between the government and the people it's called the constitutions it's called the constitutions i repeat again the document contains law rules and regulations code of conduct which determine and decide the forms of government that is the relationship between the citizen and the government that's called the constitutions now why we needed that i already explain i already explain we need a constitutions to govern a country properly constitutions define the natures of political system means how the political parties work for the nations it's for the nation sometimes we feel strongly about the issue might against in our large interest of the constitutions help to guards against it it means it's a safeguard it's a safeguard now for example uh, if if government put one bill that there is no education system for the girl for example okay is it possible no 
because in constitutions article 21a already said that the education for all here there is no discrimination at all okay so here there is a no discrimination it means education not for particularly boys it is for all okay so if any bill pass like this it is a work like a guard it is a work like a guard it means they can protect you they can protect you so we know that uh, basic four organ uh, basic four pillars of the constitutions but here the three organs now our body we have a five organs without the external five organs we can not be imagined so without three organs three organs uh, the uh, constitutions cannot be formed that is executive legislative and juridicis the, the things we have already explained first to make the law that is a uh, makes the law interprets law and enforce the law makes the law interprets the law and enforce the law okay uh, now next history now the main topic of this chapter title that is a history of the constitutions history of the constitutions now we start with 1324 bc before centuries uh, to 185 now at the time of the ashoka okay we know that the ashoka established the constitutions of the basic principles where they protect for the indian monuments and uh, the various uh, historical parts like uh, major rocks and pillars and the minor rocks of the public uh, to take the reference okay we know that the ashoka campus after that east india companies they are totally control on administrations of the particularly uh, for the india okay the word itself the east indian company okay so they came to the india in a bangles in bengal just to fully control for the there is no rules and regulation for the india they make their own owns regulations and enforce direct or indirectly direct or indirectly we need to follow the terms we need to follow that lights are declined definitely we need to follow this okay this one by a forcefully in the year of 1857 the east indian company is totally in field control over the whole indian from the single center that it was in kolkata it was in kolkata so the one party that call east indian companies they control whole over the nations india now india is a very popular for the spices and that cotton jute okay the garments this is a very popular one in this particular period in this particular period so many okay, another uh, our neighbor countries and our uh, british raj have take advantages of us that advantages of just the tax then after the our, our heri the old heritage systems then after the our valuable things they take it from us to their countries after that the british raj to in, uh, introduce and at the time at the time when the constitutions of indian took a space now the shape is to be introduced the british raj after that we know that in a 1947 we got the independence okay so at that time finally the constitutions of india has to be created properly by its own as a free it means we totally freedom we get totally freedoms to adopt 26 november 1949 and it came effect from 26 january 1950 1950 as we know and it it uses today okay so basic we have two things that is a 15 august and 26 january 26 january okay so these are the history of the indian constitutions indian constitutions okay now look at the slide in which we can see that the again ashoka the things i already discussed okay these are the history these are the our history then after again east indian company the east indian company came to india for the trade only why because india is a popular for the spices and uh, have a, a garment like a cloth okay then after the rights of taxations okay they have their own power they have their own power it means now what happened it's not a good for us okay then after east indian companies to be in full controls hold the india it is a single center in kolkata 
okay so the different act had law to be enforced by the company during that particular period particular that particular periods then after the british raj we know that uh, in 1857 to so on to 1947 totally controlled uh, by the britishers by the britishers okay at the time we follow the british rules but we know that india is going to freedom after that that uh, after 1847 to uh, uh, next 15 years okay so we come to the realizations we come to the realizations about the britishers also realize that we are not going to be more in this country in this country so what happened the Indian Counseling Act 1980, uh, 1861, the separate legislative counseling that set up for the governance to make the law. Now, Indian could be appointed as a counseling, okay, in the year of 1861. Then, after the Indian Counseling Act 1892, at the result of the Indians' demand for the size and executive of the legislative councils were increased. Okay, so the more Indian were appointed as a counseling members of that particular elections has to be introduced. Then after in the year of 1909 that Indian Counseling Act that increased the size of counseling again. Okay, so it is modified. It is in modified. The legislative counseling to powers and discuss uh, discuss the certain matters to ask the questions and more paper were elected in counseling. So the majority is increased. The power is increased. The Government of Indian Act 1919, then after uh, Government of Indian Act 1935, 1935, this information, uh, uh, inf important uh, silent features of the Indian constitutions where we bring it from the sources. So, yeah, Government of Indian Act is also part of it. Then we know the very popular that is the Indian Independent Act 1947. 1947. Okay. So these are the history of the Indian constitutions, Indian constitutions, which a part of the syllabus, chapter number two, history of Indian constitutions. Thank you.